Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Limited Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials where in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to dismiss the keyboard from within the Swift language. Now what we're doing is continuing on from our previous tutorials where we created actions and outlets and created a basic Hello World application. We got to the point where it was able to add text within our text field, press our button and it will display that text from within our label. The only problem we had then is we couldn't dismiss the keyboard, our return button doesn't work. So what we're going to do is enable it to basically dismiss and create an action for it. And by creating an action for dismissing it, we can also link up other actions to kind of create a multiple action within our one action. So the best way to do this if I jump into the main dot storyboard. And what we're going to do is bring up the assistant editor as we're going to be able to well, want to create an action on our text field. Now, as we enter our text field, our basically our keyboard loads up, and that's only loading up as we, you know, kind of interacted with the text field. So to dismiss it, we need to create an action on the text field to basically enable it to perform the action to basically dismiss it. So what we're going to do is get our text field here and drag and drop down, and then select it to action, and I'm going to simply name it dismiss keyboard there we go and then make sure that the event is basically did end on exit as you want this to perform when we finished using or basically at the end of the action we are creating and then make sure you have our sender on as we're going to be working with the first responder so once that's in if I just space out now our action for our parentheses here so basically what we're going to do then is as our keyboard loads up it becomes the first responder as it's overlaying our view and all we simply need to do is basically get rid of it or dismiss it or in this case make it resign or basically resign the first responder. By doing that it will get whatever the first responder is and in this case it will be the keyboard, it will take the view of it and then just dismiss it or resign it from the view completely and that will enable our keyboard to disappear from the view. Now as it's over the view we need to basically do our self. And then we do dot and the self of our view we need to link it to our first responder and what we want to do is make it resign so we simply do resign first responder and there we go so that's simply that all that's needed there to do so when we go into um, the simulator now and we enter our text in we can press our return key or we can simply change it so if i just get rid of the assistant editor and back to the standard editor click on our keyboard here and you can see we've got a load of different options around about here, our appearance, return key, keyboard style, to change how the keyboard looks when it loads up. The bit that I'm interested in the most at the moment is our return key. If we select it from default here, you can change what that return key is. Now by default, it just simply says return. But a good one, which is kind of seen in most places, is a simple dumb button. This will make a nice, you know, visible done button on the keyboard. So once you interact with that, the keyboard's completely gone from the view. So if we go to build a run and show you now, once it loads up, I can enter a load of gobbledygook in. I can press the button to paste the text within the label. And you can see now our return key is now different as we set it to a done button. So once we press that, our keyboard resigns itself or resigns the first responder, dismissing the keyboard from the view. Now, there's a second part of this tutorial that I want to kind of show you guys. If I simply jump back into our viewcontroller.swift, and you can see that we created an action to enable us to dismiss this keyboard, which from this action performs, you know, said action. We can also link up multiple actions from within it. So what I'm basically trying to say is, as we have our button, we press our done button and it dismisses the keyboard. We can also have the ability to also place the text from the text field into the label. So we can perform both of those actions within one kind of action. So if I simply copy what we've got in our button here, and then paste it, let's say, underneath our first responder. So we press our... We, Put the gibberish in our keyboard, in our um, text field, sorry. Uh, press the done button on our keyboard. It resign the first responder, dismissing the keyboard from the view. And at the same time in doing that, it's going to place our text field's text within our label's text. So then this begs the question, do we need the original button that we had set in place? And the answer is no, we don't need it at all. So what we can simply do is get rid of the code for our button there. 
And at the same time, we just need to get rid of it within our interface. So I've just select all our options now as we go getting rid of that. We've messed up the constraints, so I'm simply going to clear them. And I'll just place these up now in place of where our button once was and then add in missing constraints. So it puts it all back in, back to normal. So now by doing this, we've kind of freed up that little bit of space. And when we're designing interfaces with our applications, it's important to kind of optimize the space that we have. So just by getting simply getting rid of that button, we'll open up more space for more kind of features and actions and objects from within our view and it's a brilliant way to combine stuff so it just runs a bit more fluidly within your application so if you're back into the view control dot swift so once again we're going to enter our text in our text field press our done button and it will perform two actions dismissing and displaying the text so we go show you that now in build and run okay and once it's loaded up we don't have a button so we go in our text field here and i simply write out hello world and the only option we got now is to press the done button now as it says done it's obviously you know visibly clear that it's an action so we press done it's going to dismiss our keyboard and then place the text within the label so we press it and there we go so that's simply how you would not only dismiss the keyboard but create a multiple action from within the action of dismissing the keyboard to simply perform stuff just like displaying text within a label so again that's simply how you dismiss the keyboard within the swift language Hey guys, just before we click off this video, I have a few more bits of information that I'd love to share with you. But just before I do, if this tutorial helped you in any way, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and follow us on social media. All the links will be in the description below. If you want more up-to-date and in-depth tutorials on iOS 8, Xcode 6 and the Swift language, then make sure you guys enroll in our complete iOS 8 and Xcode 6 course. The links will be in the description below. And if you guys want to learn on the go, make sure you download our Xcode tutorial application from the App Store where you can get much more than what we offer on YouTube. Again, links for this will be in the description below. And if you guys want to kick back and blow off a bit of steam, make sure you go check out my gaming channel where we have a lot of fun, play with a lot of friends and generally just have a good time. So make sure again, you go subscribe to that channel. But once more, I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.